Hello, my name is Carrie Ann, and I am the lead investigator at Intuitive Investigations. And I do paranormal research as well as readings, um, intuitive readings, tarot readings, those sorts of things. And today's topic for our podcast is why do we need spiritual protection? So let's talk a little bit about that. What is the need for that? If you are working with energy, and that is not only working with people that, say, have issues like being a counselor, it can also be going on spirit um, haunts, ghost haunts. It can be paranormal um, research and investigation. And it could be just any time. It could be at work. It could be any time that you are subjected to, exposed to negative energy. So, for example, negativity is everywhere. You know, you go to work and there are people at work that are very negative. You turn on the TV and everything on the TV is very negative. News is very difficult to hear sometimes. Even dealing with your family sometimes can be um, something that is a lot of negative energy in it. You know, there are people that demand your time or they're going through difficult times. So that pulls in a lot of negative energy for you. So it's important as both spirit and energy workers and paranormal investigators that we spend some time uh, thinking about protecting ourselves spiritually and not taking on all of this negative energy. And in some cases, it could be negative entities. So something to be very concerned about, I think. You know, some of our brethren in the um, paranormal investigation field um, would tell you right now, well, not me. I never have that kind of a problem. That doesn't affect me. Well, yeah, I know everybody is tough, and there are very strong and confident people out there, which is a good part of spiritual protection. You know, being confident, being aware of yourself and who you are, and having a really strong, positive attitude do a lot for spiritual protection. But what if you're going through a divorce? What if you're dealing with difficult issues like health issues or spouse issues? Um, or perhaps, like many people who do investigations, do you're visiting um, places that have lots of negative energy, such as an abandoned um, asylum or a prison or perhaps cemeteries, any of these places where there could be potential for a lot of negative uh, spirits and negative energies. And again, don't forget, work, day-to-day um, -day stress, all of that can build up. I'll give you an example. You know, a very serious issue when 9-11 happened. Um, I myself became glued to the TV 24 hours a day almost. It seemed like I was always watching the news. That's all I wanted to watch. And honestly, it had an effect on me. You know, after a while, it just was too much to bear, too much negativity. Um, I just needed to turn it off and and kind of get myself back and reconnect. Um, and so that can wear on you. That can bring you down. So when you go to these places with negative entities and negative energies, um, you can be vulnerable, even if you kind of are a pretty confident person. So... I wanted to talk about that because I think it's important to know that even if you're strong, even if you do things to protect yourself, that you're still vulnerable to spirit attachments. And it's important to know that. So this is the first in the series, Why Do It? Because you don't want to bring any of these negative entities or this negative energy home with you. You don't want to be around the people that you love and care about. You don't want to bring have that bring you down and to not be the kind of person that you should be. So you don't want to share that with you. You don't want to leave um, a haunted asylum and bring something from that home. You really don't. So that's why you need it. Um, in the next uh, broadcasts, I will cover the methods of protection, and there are many, and you can pick one that's practical and that you can deal with. And then also clearing attachments will be further down in the series, but we're going to talk a lot about the different methods, and they're pretty easy, and things that are practical and you can use, not the woo-woo stuff, not that. You'll get practical ideas from me. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I look forward to seeing you on my next series 
of presentations on spiritual protection. Thanks so much for joining me.